and welcome to Celebrate in Excellence. This series of programmes aims to showcase the contributions of St Lucia's two Nobel laureates, Sir William Arthur Lewis, who received the Nobel Prize for Development Economics in 1979, and Sir Derek Alton Walcott for Literature in 1992. 2023 marks the 30th anniversary of the initiative first instituted in 1993 to honour and celebrate the life and work of St Lucia's Nobel laureates. So in 2023, the theme for the festival is Celebrating Excellence, Nurturing Our Creativity, Consolidating Our Legacy. Our guest, Dr Anderson Reynolds, was born and raised in Viewfort, St Lucia. Dr. Reynolds founded Jacko Productions, a cultural and entertainment enterprise that seeks to encourage the artistic expression of St. Lucian culture and to promote that culture worldwide. We asked Dr. Reynolds for his reflections on the contribution of Sir Derek Walcott and that of other contemporary St. Lucian writers to the literary arts, both at home and on the international stage. Well, in terms of the influence of St. Lucian writers, including Derek Walcott, on Caribbean and world literature. The starting point has to be with the 1950s to 1970s St. Lucia Arts Guild that led the way in West Indian theatre and sparked a cultural renaissance. Out of the, out, out of the Arts Guild <laughs> emerged um, Gap St. Omer, the cousin of Dunstan St. Omer, um, who became who, is, who acquired, gains international acclaim as a novelist. Actually, he was St. Lucia's first novelist, and he went on to earn a PhD in literature at Princeton University. Of course, there is Derek Walcott, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1992, um, the very pinnacle of the um, literary world. This first generation of St. Lucian writers and artists influenced the second generation of writers, of the second generation of prominent St. Lucian writers, including Kendall Hippolyte, um, John Robert Lee, MacDonald Dixon, Adrian Auger, Jane King, and uh, Modest Downs. This second generation, and now we have a third generation of St. Lucian writers, um, with Vladimir Lucien and, and Lubrin, leading the way, they are like the rising stars of St. Lucian and Caribbean literature. Canisa Lubrin, both Canisa Lubrin and um, Vladimir Lucien has won the overall prize, Bocas Prize, which is the highest um, literary prize in the English Caribbean. Derek Walcott is the only other St. Lucian that has won this prize. What this, what this is, is um, in effect saying that we are not just about Bacchanal, Ram, Beach, and Sunshine, and touristic smiles. We are creating some very serious and important literature that rivals, that rival what obtains uh, anywhere else in the world. These writers, by virtue of their work, are, are very much involved in nation building, in forging our national identity, and in, and in um, establishing that our way of life, our culture is as much deserving of artistic expression as that of any other country. In terms of Derek Walcott, um, Derek Walcott has been a big revelation in my life. When I first read Walcott, I thought this writer is, um, is expressing the way I feel and the way I view my country. In other words, Walcott was essentially giving voice to my voice. In Walcott, I found many gems. For example, it was there I first found out that Shabin means red nigger. And it was there I first encountered the Shabonez, the women called carriers. In just one line of one of Derek Walcott's poems, I was able to visualize the Shabonez in action. So much so that when I was writing my first book, the novel Death by Fire, that one line from that poem allowed me to write a whole passage, a whole description 
of the Chabonais in action. Later, when I was writing my second book, The Struggle for Survival, I, I found a, a National Geographic magazine photo of the Chabonais in operation. And the photo matched almost exactly my Derek Walcott inspired description of the Chabonais. My favorite writer is Toni Morrison, African-American um, novelist who won the Nobel Prize in 1993, the year after Walcott won his, his Nobel Prize. In fact, um, Toni Morrison was probably one of the best things that happened to me in my adult life. Why? Because she writes the way I think. Besides that, Toni Morrison takes an entity, a person, a community, strips it to its, best, to, to its bare essential, and colors, magnifies that, those bare essentials to, 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 to illuminate the very essence of that entity. In my writing, what I'm trying to do, like Derek Walcott, I'm really trying to give voice to, to, to our voices. And like Toni Morrison for the African American society community, I'm trying to capture the very essence of St. Lucian culture, the very essence of our way of life. To what extent I'm succeeding in doing so? Well, I guess the readers might have something to say about that. The Nobel Laureate Memorial Lectures will be recorded by the National Television Network Visit our Facebook page at Nobel Laureate Festival St. Lucia for festival events. I'm Delia Delore. Goodbye.